Appearance of the first radio tube, electrovacuum diode, was a considerable progress in development of radio signal reception equipment. However, the issue of strengthening electrical signals of both high frequency and low frequency remained open until the electronic tube with three electrodes was not sufficiently improved to work as reliable generator for voice communication. Attempts at radio broadcasting were doomed to failure. Electronic tube, which could create stable high frequency oscillations, was invented by Austrian scientist Robert von Lieben in 1906. Liebenau lamp had cathode made of platinum strip mounted on a glass stem. Great holding the flow of positively charged ions and protecting the cathode from premature failure was located in the middle of the lamp and looked like perforated aluminum disc divided it in half. Such arrangement of the grid allowed strengthening its control action as the whole electron flow passed through it. There was anode in the form of short thick spiral at the top. Internal volume of the device was filled with mercury vapor which created additional ionization and increased anode current. Particular attention Lieben paid to increasing the emission properties of the lamp. For this purpose, it was suggested for the first time to cover the filament with a thin layer of oxide, calcium or barium. Practical implementation of Liebenau lamp encountered some difficulties, but despite this, it was tested as amplifier of sound signal in telephony and showed its efficiency. However, Libinau lamp won leading position in the radio only when it was found out that it can be used to generate continuous electric oscillations.